welcome back to HGTV Handmade. So today I'm here with my friends Tara and Natalie and we're going to be doing a super fun summertime painting experiment. I don't really know if it's gonna work. We're just gonna see what happens. Basically, we're gonna put some paint into some balloons. We're gonna throw darts at them. Hopefully they explode. We get a splatter painting. Let's see how it goes. All right, so the first step is to get a bunch of paint. This is super cheap, like tempura paint. It was literally just a few dollars for each huge bottle of this. You don't need high quality paint for this project. <laughs> the cheapest you can get is great. We could just use these as they are, but I think I want an orange. I think I want more of a lighter purple. So I also brought some water bottles and we're just gonna use these to mix other colors. So now that we've got all of our paint mixed, it's time to fill up the balloons. These are full-size balloons. I tried water balloons. They were too small. They didn't work. <laughs> Get the big ones. You're also gonna need a funnel. So I tested this out and I think this is the best way that I figured out how to do it. You put the balloon around the bottom of the funnel, then you pour some paint through the funnel into the balloon and then take the balloon off the funnel and very, very carefully, being super careful not to inhale any of the paint, you blow up the balloon a little bit and tie it off. Please do not drink this paint. I mean, it's non-toxic, but like, try not to inhale any. So we just blew up a ton of paint-filled balloons, and now we have to somehow attach them to this canvas. This is just a really big canvas that I got at the craft store. If you wanna get one for cheaper, maybe go to a thrift store and like paint over it. Um, you'll also wanna make sure that you have a drop cloth down to protect your grass and something behind it because paint is gonna be splattering everywhere. I mean, if you don't care about getting paint everywhere, then you do you, but we have put down a drop cloth and some plywood just to kind of try to keep the paint in one place. Again, we're gonna see how that goes. So in order to get these balloons onto the canvas, um, you could tape them. I thought that might kind of ruin the splatter effect once you remove the tape. So what we're gonna try is using a needle and thread through the top of the balloon, just to kind of tack that on there and obviously being very careful not to pop the balloon just yet. We'll get there soon. So we managed to get all of the balloons onto the painting without popping a single one. I'd say that's an achievement. Okay, it's taken us a few hours, but we are finally here to the best part of this project. We're gonna use darts. We're gonna throw them at the canvas. We're gonna pop the balloons. The paint is gonna go everywhere. It's gonna be super fun. You guys ready? You and you? Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. First shot of the day. Let's see how it goes. No. <laughs> <laughs> totally out. Yes. Not even close. Oh. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Nice. <laughs> wow. Oh god. It just like like squirted it everywhere. Oh. One more, and then we have to go retrieve all the darts. Oh, that was 
good. That was great. Can you guess which one we were trying to hit? <laughs> <laughs> I think we hit literally every possible spot there is to hit except for that balloon. So also, um, one thing to note, <laughs> your darts will get covered in paint. So just have some paper towels nearby. Oh, boo. Are you kidding me? guys I'm trying not to like kneel directly in paint but it worked I think this looks so good all we have to do now is cut off the balloons wash off the darts and then we've got ourselves a splatter painting that was literally so fun everybody should do this project it was the best all right let's finish this off dripping everywhere. Check it out guys, we made a thing. This is still wet, it's dripping literally everywhere. So I'm actually gonna go um, put it back down, but I think it looks super cool. I do. I'm really into this. It. All right, so that was so fun. I really hope you guys liked it. We wanted to share a few tips that we learned along the way. I would definitely blow the balloons up a bit bigger so they get you a really good splatter. And I shook them before I put them up there. And the ones I did that to really gave us a nice splatty splat. Don't throw the darts too hard. You get really big holes in your canvas. <laughs> and then also make sure you have some place where this can dry afterwards, mm -hmm. because that's gonna be a while. Yeah, like a garage, a back covered backyard. Also, make sure that you have some friends here <laughs> because there was a lot of like holding and maneuvering and if you were trying to do this alone, balloons might be popping, you might be covered in paint. Definitely do it outside. I, doing this inside would have been, my goodness, what a mess. And if you're doing it outside, you want to save your grass. Again, the tarps are such a good, they're a dollar. Yeah, store. These are dollar store uh, <laughs> tablecloths. tablecloths. So I want to say a huge thank you to Tara and Natalie for filming this video with me and helping me out with it. They also have a DIY channel. We are two girls who try stuff for the first time. So we're not, we don't teach you anything because we should not be trusted. But we try out stuff that you've seen and wondered, does that work? Can you make that? Is that a thing you should do? <laughs> That's our show. And I'm going to link that right down below. Make sure that you like this video if you liked it and subscribe for new DIY videos every single week. And we'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. Bye. Summertime paint. No, there's a plane. I'm going to redo that. Hold for plane. Hold for plane. That's why I don't film outside. Do a pose and then just hold for a sec. I like that part. <laughs> yes! I love when paint mixes together. It looks so fun. It'll be fine! That's what they all say. <laughs> it's 
beginning right. of every craft fail. Let's yeah, so how much is in there. Oh, it's full. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how much is in there? Oh, I know now. There we go, it's probably good. And here's extra. 